wings to fly won't take you to the stars. Use the metal for a boat and you won't sail too far. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal clouds about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. Secret pink code, pink code, Science can be tricky, it can overheat your brain. Science can be hard to chew, each bite can be a pain. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal clouds about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. Secret pink code. My friend, are you sure that the risk is justified? By my calculations, the fuel simply won't be enough for the return journey. There's no risk. My new experimental engine uses less and flies much further. But why reinvent the wheel? After all, we can glimpse into the future and find out what kind of engines will be popular. Why overthink it when we can just look at what other clever folks have thunk up? This isn't a toy. I don't want to live always looking back at the future. Even if I make a mistake, it's still my own experience. And did you think about us? Yeah, yeah. I think about how surprised you will be when my experiment ends in complete success. Auf Wiedersehen. Attention, prepare for a crash landing on an unknown planet. Why crash landing? Fuel level is zero. Computer, analysis of planet's surface. Air is not suitable for breathing. The planet is completely void of life. W we need to get out of here. Fuel level is zero. My mistake, my responsibility to fix. So, what do we know about engines? The principle of space movement is very simple. We burn fuel and receive fire. Fire flies out in one direction and pushes the rocket in the other direction. This process is called jet thrust. To travel far, you need to burn a lot of fuel. But the fuel level is zero. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Therefore, we need to think up a way to replace it. I'm an inventor. <laughs> I'll think something up. Hallucination. Computer, analysis of the planet's surface. The atmospheric composition is identical to that of the Earth. Air is suitable for breathing. The planet's surface is covered with grass. Do you see what I'm seeing? I don't see. I analyze. You're hallucinating as well? Computers don't have hallucinations. Yeah, yeah, there are only glitches.
It really is grass. We're just missing flowers. And butterflies. Oh. Ah! Computer! What is happening? Obviously, the planet has the ability to materialize images generated by cognitive activity. That's impossible! My thoughts are making grass and butterflies? You could say that. This is not a daisy. This is a tulip. <laughs> this is not a tulip. It's a suitcase. <laughs> the sky is green. <laughs> there, red mountains. Higher. Yeah. <laughs> I can create my own world. The world of Pin. Pin Almighty. Whatever you think up is yours. <laughs> I'm like an artist. Paint, paint, and create. Ha-ha! <laughs> I'm omnipotent. A can of fish. Open. <sighs> I need to refuel a little bit. Refuel? A barrel of rocket fuel. <laughs> Goodbye, you funny planet! Hello, computer. Can you tell me why we've stopped? Fuel level is zero. What do you mean, zero? We have a full tank! Obviously, the materialized objects must be located near the planet. I... I already figured that out. Hey there, my friends. How are you doing there? Hey, Ben. Hiya. Ah! Crash? Chico? <laughs> you know, generally speaking, I don't like... Uh, I'm but getting home? With everyone. All this time, I was at home. It was a dream? Wanna play some football now that you're up? Hey, <laughs> football. <laughs> Look at that! It's like <laughs> Billy, join your team! Hey, hoop, 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 ah! Pass, pass the ball, I said, you stubborn mule. Ole, ole, ole! Charge, let's go! Come on, guys, let's go! Hey! Help! Out! Aha! There you are! Oh my god! Ben! Did you get stuck or something? The ball's in play! Nine! This is not a dream. What are you talking about? No, well, I'm definitely not a dream. I don't know about Chico. He's always that sleepy. Yeah, yeah, you are not a dream. I just think about all of you. And this kind planet materializes you from my thoughts, from my memory. <laughs> You mean to tell me that Chico and I just crawled out of your head? Hee <laughs> hee! You couldn't even fit a ball in there! Not to mention Barry! <laughs> hey, what I do? But it's true. You're all here and here. <laughs> You're too much! You kill me! You're such a comedian! I want to go home. What is he even talking about? Is this pin ours? We need to get out of here. Fuel level is zero. <clears throat> it means we need an engine without fuel. <laughs> 
Such engines don't exist. Uh, we'll have to ask the future. My inquiry, an engine which works without fuel. Why didn't I think of it earlier? In order to fly in space, you don't have to use fire and burn lots of fuel. After all, in space is zero gravity, which means even the tiniest thing could move an entire rocket. You just need a lot of those tiny things. That tiny thing could be, for example, an eon. An ion is an atom without one or many electrons. We can get a lot of lot of ions from the atoms of inert gases. We take the gas, mix it into a big tube, and shoot a lot of electrons at it. When the electrons hit the gas atoms, we get eons. Eons will fly in an accelerator and reach up to 50 kilometers per second. Eons fly in one direction and can propel the rocket in the other direction. This kind of engine is called an Eon engine. But where will we find so much suitable gas? No, that's not a problem. And an ionic engine will work quite well with, for example, argon. There's lots of that in volcanic lava. Alles <laughs> gimat! Now I just need to check it. The device is ready for flight. Danke schon, my friend. My friends, it's time for me to come back home. So, when you fly away, all this will disappear? And we'll disappear too? You won't disappear. Think about each other, and you won't disappear. Think about each other, and you won't disappear.